In this video, I'm going to show you how I contour my face with tan and get a glowy, bronzy, natural look without laying in the sun because per usual over here, we do not want any premature wrinkles. I've been tanning for about 11 years now and two of the most popular videos on my channel by far are my full body tanning routine and part two of that video, which is tanning hacks that you need to know. Definitely beginner friendly. Every tanning video on my channel is very beginner friendly because sometimes tanning is just a big old monster that could bite you in the butt if you do it wrong. So I show you every single step that I do. I'm gonna link those videos at the end so you can watch those after this one if you haven't already seen them. Today I'm using my favorite tanning lotion and my favorite tanning foam. You guys have seen this baby before if you've watched any of my previous tanning videos. This is the Bondi Sands Aero Aerated Foaming Mousse. Love this stuff. Such a deep, dark, natural, gorgeous tan. And this baby over here is a little bit more of a newer product. This was recommended to me. I actually bought it off Amazon and I've tried it a couple times now. Oh my gosh, you guys. Tanning creams are just so much easier to use than a tanning foam. It's just a lot easier to blend. So if you're a beginner, this is definitely going to be your number one favorite tanning product probably before you start messing around with a foam like this. I love them both because I've been tanning for a long, long time now. I like to use both of these in combination to do my face and you will understand why in just a little bit. First things first, before I tan my face, you need to take care of your skin. This goes for tanning your body. This goes for tanning your face. Anywhere you're going to tan, you need to take care of your skin. You need to moisturize and get lots of layers of hydration before you put on your tan. This is going to prevent any patchiness and this is going to give your tan something to stick onto. I like to tan after I shower and when I'm in the shower, I like to exfoliate my face. I use an exfoliating glove. I got mine like super cheap off of Amazon, so I will link below the one that I got. I like to wait about 30 minutes after. After I have showered to make sure my pores have like closed up before I even start my tan just so that my pores aren't like wide open for the tan to come in and kind of like look weird. You can also use an ice roller or splash some cold water on your face to close up your pores before you apply your tan. Then after the shower, then we move on to our skincare. I used to go straight into applying my tan on my face before doing any skincare. <laughs> which I can't even fathom now that I'm thinking about it because you need moisture on your skin. You need to hydrate your skin so that your tan doesn't get patchy and it's really easy to blend. I use about seven different skincare products in my everyday skincare routine. So that's what I do before I tan. All of these layers are just adding hydration to my skin and creating a beautiful smooth canvas for us to easily blend our tan into our face, for us to contour and not get any streaky harsh lines. If you guys do want a dedicated skin care regime video just comment that down below to let me know and then I can do that for you guys contouring and tanning your face is basically like doing your bronzer and contour for your makeup except for using makeup products you're using self tan so there's lots of blending there's lots of different brushes and it's definitely a process I wear so much less makeup when I tan my face and create those natural shadows with fake tan so after I've done almost all of my skincare my last skincare product that I use is sunscreen. This is where I start to incorporate the self tan. I like to slightly tan my entire face to match my neck and my body with the tanning cream by mixing it into my sunscreen, equal parts tan, equal parts sunscreen. Then we're going to go back in with the tanning foam and all these fun little brushes right here. And we're going to do specifically nose contour. I like to put some tan on my eyelids to create a nice shadow below my lip and really just kind of contour those cheekbones in my forehead. We'll get into that in just a second. Here I'm just mixing equal parts sunscreen and that tanning cream. I just mix these together and I put it all over my face. I like to drag this down my neck. I like to make sure I get it on my ears as well so my ears don't look super pale while the rest of me looks nice and tan and golden. This is not really contouring. This is kind of just bronzing up my entire face and making sure that my face will match my neck and my body. Today I was tanning in the morning so sunscreen was my last step of my skincare but when I'm tanning at night and I don't put on sunscreen obviously I'm just gonna go to bed the last step of my skincare routine is this other moisturizer this is the crayon peptide cream by face reality I would then just mix in equal parts of tan to this instead of the sunscreen so it doesn't have to be sunscreen that you mix the tan into you can use whatever moisturizer is the last step in your skincare routine I would definitely recommend a moisturizer and not like a serum or a chemical exfoliant just because you want something that's nice and creamy and that same consistency of the tan lotion. Now that our face is the same color, 
same shade as our body and our neck or at least it will be after this tan develops we're gonna go in and do our contour so I like to take a bunch of different brushes this big fluffy one right here is the first brush that I take as you can see it's like black right there I'm gonna be taking that arrow aerated foaming mousse from Bondi Sands this specific bottle is almost out so it was like barely coming out of the bottle but I'm just putting the tiniest little dab onto this brush right here and then I'm gonna start going on my forehead to make my forehead just a little bit smaller and kind of give it some dimension I'm gonna go around in kind of like a little three motion on my face I know this looks like a lot of product on my face right here but since this product is dark it has a bronzer in it it's gonna look very dark on your skin I look like I've rubbed dirt on my face every single time after I tan my face but after you let it develop over eight to nine hours I like to leave it overnight or all day and then you rinse it off it's going to look very natural and you're not gonna look like a dirty q-tip anymore so don't worry if it looks a little bit messy this is mainly just the bronzer layer so don't be freaked out if your face looks really really dark also you can always wash it off sooner than eight to nine hours if you're like really freaked out that you put too much on or if it's too dark of a color for you once I have blended everything in with this big old fluffy brush right here doing like my cheekbones my forehead my jawline all of that then I go in with my smaller brushes and we're gonna be doing my nose contour if you guys have watched any in-depth contouring videos for your nose then you kind of have an idea maybe of what I'm doing right here I recently started to kind of research how to contour my nose a little bit more um, and that's basically just what I'm going off of you know the normal two lines down your nose blending it down the sides of your nose a little bit and then I like to do just like a little line right here to make my nose look a little bit sun-kissed a little bit bronze and also putting some contour right below your nose at the very very tip makes your nose look a little bit shorter kind of cuts it off a little bit but whatever you like to do for your nose however you like to contour it that's what you will be doing here with tan I like to have lots of different makeup brushes because some of them I want to use to apply the product and others I want to make sure they're nice and clean so that I can use those for blending only because you don't really want to blend this product with the brushes that you use to apply them otherwise it might start to get really really messy remember here less <laughs> what was this remember here in this part less is always more so you can always add more and just keep blending 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 it's basically like I said contouring your nose with makeup it's all about blending all about the brushes and just adding little bits at a time as you can see here I'm just switching back and forth between brushes applying little bits at a time applying a little more blending then applying a little more blending you get the gist and also it'll look better after we shower I also like to put a little bit of tan on my eyelids as well I like to kind of drag it out and do like almost a little bit of a cat eye here where you would maybe put your eyeshadow just to give my eyes some depth you can put it below your bottom lip or all the way around your mouth if you want to appear to have larger lips just creating shadows anywhere you normally would with makeup is kind of what we're doing here with tan here I added a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes just to kind of bring my face back to life a little bit because this is just a lot of bronzer and tan on my face and you guys can see that it starts to come together a little bit more and look a lot more normal when you know you put a little concealer underneath your eyes and you start brightening it back up then the contour isn't looking as crazy but like I said after you shower it's gonna look a lot more natural and a lot more normal after you're done contouring you are basically finished all you have to do now is wait eight to nine hours like I said I like to sleep on this overnight or if I do it in the morning you actually can apply makeup directly over it that is what I have done today so as you can see kind of peeking through a little bit it's really bronzy under my makeup right now so it really doesn't matter morning and night it is probably easier if you do it at nighttime because then you can just go to sleep and not really worry about it wake up shower and then rinse it off and you will be totally good then I go ahead and apply my skincare products as normal you can use your regular sunscreen all your regular skincare products with the tan on your face I haven't had any problems with doing my normal skincare routine that is my facial tanning slash contour routine how I tan my face and contour with self tan I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you found value in it please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up for me down below as always I hope you guys are having an amazing day I wish you the best of luck in your tanning journey in your tanning routines and I will talk to you in the comment section down below bye guys my foot is already asleep I repeat my foot is already asleep